Hi and welcome to a Sound Magus Music Production Videos dot com free tutorial. This is in request for a tutorial on percussion from robot seven dot com, which is a great little forum. Hi to all you guys by the way. Um I'm gonna just do this a real basic method but maybe a method that you haven't thought about before. There'll be definitely be some stuff that you've thought of before and you've definitely seen before things like using an arpeggiator to affect a drum loop and stuff. But maybe the rest you haven't seen. Maybe you have. Maybe this tutorial is a complete waste of time. Maybe it isn't. But anyway, I'm doing it in Cubase. You can do it in any DAW you like. And I'm using Reactor, Stylus, Battery, uh, Contact Evolution and Catania. Okay, so let's get on with it. The first thing we've got is the most basic drum loop in the world, created from the four basic most drums, sounding drums on the planet. There we go. And battery. It's the battery dance kit too. Okay, rock and roll. Right, what I'm going to do, just to jazz it up a little bit, is maybe just put another uh, closed hi-hat in here. And now I'm just going to start manipulating the drums just to give them a little bit of groove. So every second closed hi-hat, I'm going to change the velocity. As you can as you can hear already it's starting to affect the groove of the drum loop. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is do a quick volume mix. Now that I've got my basic drum so and I'll just just so you know what's going on, so kick drum. We'll just leave him there. Oh, kick drum and snare. How interesting. Let's see what's going on here. So, kick, C1, master, snare, 3 and 4, C sharp 1. Why is it going through there? Okay, we've got it fixed now. So, kick, snare. What's next? Hi hat. And before I do anything else, I'm just going to change this to true mono. Just because it's on a stereo channel, I just want the kit to be more forceful. Okay, and finally, the open hi hat. Right, there you have it, the most basic drum loop ever created. Okay, so let's make it a little less basic. If we go to MIDI, now, I'm sure you can all do this in your own DAW. Um, basically, all we're going to do is just quantize it, just to add some groove, or in this case, it's called swing. But as um, I'm sure if you've got groove menus and whatnot, which I'm sure Ableton Logic definitely have, and I'm pretty sure you can do stuff like this in Reason and Fruit Loops as well. So I'm just going to change the quantize setup by adding some swing. You can see here it's every second note is just going to be moved. So if I do it really extreme, that's too much. 50%. Okay, so it's feeling a little bit more alive now. It's got a little a better feel to it than it certainly did have to begin with. Right, now this is where I may do some stuff that you, you're not used to. 
I'm just going to start adding stuff. Um, some some of it will be percussive. Some of it might not be as percussive as you may th as you might think it should be. But it doesn't matter. All I'm trying to do here is make a groovy drum loop. So first things, I've got Zebra Two here, and I've got this sound on it. I think that's great. I think it's a lovely percussion sound. And as you can see there, it's called water percussion. So I'm just going to play and I'm just going to record and play that over the top of my basic drum loop. As you can hear, my playing skills are fabulous. Right, okay, now I'm just going to cut that. Oh, cancel that. Was big fingers, so I've selected all, and I'm just going to quantize. So it's quantized it now to the one sixteenth with swing at forty. So let's have a listen. Okay, remember this is fly by the seat of your pants percussion, so I'm going to leave that as exactly as it is. Excellent. That's the kind of groovy stuff we want. Right, next I'm going to use Reactor. And in Reactor I'm going to use... Um, what are we going to use? Aerobic. We'll use this one. It's in Ensembles, uh, New Editions, and it's a groove box. There's loads of them. So this is what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like. Let me just... Mute that. Basically, it's just loads of drum loops. So just find one that you like the sound of. Right, I like that one. But there's some of these I want to get rid of as well. around. Just kill all the levels. Okay, you can still hear it a little bit, but that doesn't really matter. Don't want that. Right. Feeling that? I'm not really feeling that. I'm not really feeling that at all, to be honest. Um, let's find a different loop. Okay, this one might be a bit better. Okay, um, I just need to check something. Okay, I just had to check that my um, ducking compressor was working. It sounded like it wasn't, but it is. Okay, so we've got this loop. Let's turn everything down. Okay, we definitely don't know on that one. Okay, let's go with that just for a laugh. I like that little. But I'm weird that way, so. Right. So, as you can see, this is the reactor channel, but this is playing it in real time, so I don't have any MIDI in there as such. I can play MIDI and screw it all up, which I've just done. Um, 
I can't remember what loop we were on now. That one. Okay, so once we've found the sounds that we want, Okay, what we'll do is, we'll right click, add track, and add an audio track. So we've got the audio track here. And what I want to do is basically record the audio from, not my voice obviously, but from Reactor. And the way to do that in Cubase is just make the input the stereo output. So whatever comes through the stereo output, it will record. It's the easiest way to do it anyway. And I'll just put punch in, punch out on. I don't really need punch in, but punch out will do it. And I just need to make sure that I don't speak. As you can see, it's getting the recording there. So I'm just going to record that now. Okay, so now we have our little loop. I can go in and turn Reactor off to save some CPU. We don't need it anymore. So as you can see, that's the drum loop there. So now we have Oh yeah, I just need to sort out the um, output. We can maybe turn that up a little bit. Okay, so that's a nice basic loop so far. And we'll do other stuff to that loop later on. What have we got next? Let's have a look. What we got here? Stylus. Or it should be stylus. The stylus is probably turned off. Okay, here's stylus. And what have we got here? Okay, I like that. So I'm just going to copy that over here. I'm just going to make this a little... I'll put it up to a four bar loop now. Okay, obviously stylus is a bit loud. Okay, so already we're getting um, pretty groovy now. What was in there that we forgot? Oh, yeah. Right, okay, so what's next? Ah, okay, we have uh, Contacts Evolve. Let me just turn these off for the time being. So it's just basically a, a case of finding some sounds that you like. Okay, let's see if we can find something else.
try this. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, all I'm really doing is layering up loads of different sounds. So let's see what this one's got. Okay, I don't really like any of those ones. Let's see if we can find something better. Don't really go with this kind of drum loop that we've got going on at the moment. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, so we've got loads now, absolutely just a horrendous amount of drums going on. So, um, how many more have we got to go? One, one more. Let me just delete that. Okay, now I'm going to use Catania, which is an arpeggiator plugin, to arpeggiate some more loops. If I just put that, let's find something. Okay, we'll just use what's there. It's kind of electro stuff, so... That kind of stuff. But I'm going to run this arpeggiator through it. So basically, I've just opened up Catania, chosen a a drum um, sequence from the browser. If I just go in there, drum, just hi-hats groove number one, which is that. I then go to the device that I want to tr use this to trigger, put that to the input. So Catania's now the input. So now if I press... Oh yeah, you've got to put the monitor buttons on. So it's now playing that, but it's playing it. But if I play multiple multiple notes, okay, I like that one. So if I just hit record. Okay, let me just come in and tidy this up and then I'll show you why I like Catania for this type of freaky stuff. I'll just put that to fixed lens. I'll just quantize that. Oh, undo that, select all. back to the beginning okay so now we have from this ARP nice little stabby percussive type sounds which is what we're after and then if I just come up here come there take the loop off keep that on hit record Okay, the reason I've done that is so that I can have the the drums in this pattern, which can then be quantized, remember, to the groove. So 1 16th swing 40%, there we go. So...
okay as you can see here that one's out of time why is it out of time you might add you might ask well because it's only one note so we're going to have to think and see if we can figure out if we can do something with that because it's going to be the same with this audio because it's just all straight 16th patterns now if we go into the the um the stylus pattern it's just midi again so we can all and quantize that so we should have this 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 and this all on the groove or the the, the swing quantize it's a wee bit groovy yeah that's getting kind of groovy now That might actually sound okay, that one. Okay, so... Um, let's just stop there, and we'll call this Fly By The Seat Your Pants Percussion Video Number 1, and we'll move on to another video. I don't want the videos to be too long, take the eons to download and stuff. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you in part two.